for this video I've created a brand new blog and as you can see it's got no post pages or categories other than the default category but the process you're about to see uh, will enable you to set up the structure and then move content around should you need to um, to get everything to fit in the first uh, thing to do uh, is to go to settings and make sure that you have the correct permalink structure to enable um, siloing of a WordPress blog to take place. And we need to move from the default uh, common settings to a custom structure. And the tags that we want to use would either be the category post name or the category post name and post ID. Now the most common version is category post name and once you've um, typed that in click on save changes and this then brings up um, in the lower part of this page some um, text that needs to go into a special file called a .ht access file now depending on the hosting account that you have and the company you have your hosting with this .ht access file will either automatically be created in the folder where your WordPress um, blog files are stored or you'll need to create a .ht access and upload it yourself. Now I'm going to assume that you um, need to create this so highlight um, all of that text copy it and the easiest way is to create a notepad file um, and I call mine .htaccess.txt and then paste the contents from the blog into .htaccess and save that file um, where you know where it is on your hard drive so that you can now begin the process of uploading it to your blog. Now to upload uh, it I typically use um, FileZilla and uh, here you can see um, the .htaccess.txt file I just created. Click on that and drag it across to um, the folder where you have your blog and then rename the folder or the file sorry so that we get rid of the .txt and where the word dot was literally put a dot click outside and now you have the .ht access file that WordPress needs to create the file structure in the address bar now for those of you not familiar with the address bar, here you have the main URL and when you're in uh, WordPress admin, this section here um, would represent in what the public would see as the category and we'll cover that further as we go through the video. The next step uh, in this section is to install the plugins that we're going to need. So go to plugins, click on add new and there are two ways of um, adding plugins to your WordPress install and I'm going to cover both of them in this short section and the first way we're actually going to search for the plugins that we want from the WordPress um, repository and install it directly now the way to do that is like this the first uh, plugin that we want to install is called widgets on pages so type widgets on pages into this search element in the install plugins and click on search plugins this goes off and comes back with a list of plugins that represent um, what you're looking for and the one we want is at the top and we click on install now depending um, on how your hosts or your web hosts have things set up or you have things set up this will happen in one of two ways once you click on OK it will either uh, automatically begin to install the plugin 
Well, depending on the security protocols in um, force with your host, you'll need to enter the host name and FTP details um, you use to access your host um, in order to be able to upload those files. And um, your web host will provide the details if this is the option um, that you have to go through. Once you've entered the details in, um, you simply click on proceed and the process begins. The process um, is basically to download the plugin, unpack it and then install it, leaving you the option to either install new plugins or activate as you go along. And typically uh, I activate the plugin before moving on to the next one. I'm going to do that uh, with the second plugin that we're going to need. So click on Add New, and the second plugin we want is Category Posts Widget. So search the plugins, and again it will be at the top, and click on Install Now. And again, uh, installed the plugin leaving me um, the option to activate it which I've just done. The second option to install plugins to your blog is to download them uh, from WordPress uh, and then install them um, in the blog using FTP. To do that we go to wordpress.org extend plugins and the third plugin that we need to find is related posts thumbnails type that in and click on search plugins it comes back with a list and click on download save it to your hard drive where you want um, your uh, other plugins or, or where you know you can get it. Once it's downloaded come back to add new and this time click on upload. Now where you've saved that plugin onto your hard drive you'd click browse and to make life easy for me I keep all of my plugins for WordPress in one location. Look through your folder, find the plugin that you want, click on open and click on install now. This uh, installs the plugin, it's uploaded direct from your computer and again all you need to do then is click activate plugin. And now what you can see is that you have the three plugins that you're going to need as we move forward installed uh, and activated ready to use.